somebody invited me to their house for breakfast in Jacksonville. That's an FBI setup. One of the queens <laughs> invited me. My dear sister, you might be an honest sister who just want to cook an honest meal for the leader of the black struggle in this day and time. Mm -hmm. But I cannot come to your home because that might be a Me Too setup. That might be an FBI, CIA, Homeland Security operation i cannot come to your house <laughs> i do a drive-by for the shrimp and grits <laughs> yeah hold on hold on yo this man said i'll do a drive-by for the shrimp and grits <laughs> he ain't rule it out completely he just gave you different options. He would do a drive-by for the shrimp and grits. I feel it though, bro. This picture they got up here is diabolical. Drive-by for the shrimp and grits. Make a couple salmon patties with that sister. Some 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 uh some fresh squeezed orange juice. I can't come to the house though. Uh uh. Uh uh. Next thing you know, you didn't grab my shango stick and I'm turned out like Jonathan Majors running down the street with a robe on. Uh -uh. <laughs> Stick, and I got to run down the street like Jonathan Majors And now I'm locked up Because you got a cut on your pinky And a cut behind your ear No can do, Big Papa No can do, Big Papa You can't get the prints like that Oh, no It's consciousness over the cookies It's politics over the punani It's revolution over the romance It's institutions before intimacy It's business before the bedroom Oh, yes she gonna have me running down the street in Jacksonville. I don't know nothing about no damn Jacksonville. Running down the street with shrimp and grits with the police chasing. <laughs> Yo, I did not know this man was this funny. But I feel him. You gotta be careful out here, especially who he is. Oh, he's getting set up ASAP. They trying to get rid of him ASAP. Folks said you gonna grab my shango stick. I'm about to use that. I'm about to steal that. Rule number one. Never talk about your man to another man. In fact, never talk about your man to your homegirls, especially your city girl homegirls, or your parents, especially your mama. So I'm going to say this. A lot of you think that you have male friends and that these male friends are here to listen to you and you can trust them. Most of these men who you think are your male friends are sitting in position waiting for you to get vulnerable enough or stupid enough to vent and then they're going to conquer the cooch gag. And now your value is down. And then let me tell you another thing. You think venting to your city girl, homegirls, I'm going to tell you there's two positions that those type of friends are, are going to play. Number one, she's going to wait for you to fall back because then she's going to sleep with your man. Mm. Number two, she's going to convince you to leave that relationship so you can be a city girl too because misery loves company. Mm. Now, I ain't saying nothing's wrong with the city girls. That's a movement. I support it. However, you support the movement. Think that you have a circle of friends that you actually do not have. A lot of you think that you have a lot of people that are extremely loyal to you that are around you, but you really do not have that. Mm -hmm. There are a lot of people that are sitting right next to you right now that you believe have some loyalty and you can trust in, but those people are secretly in competition with you and they want what you have. Facts. You really have to sit back and start evaluating the people that you have around you in your circle. You shouldn't be venting to anybody about your significant other. That person don't know your significant other except for what you tell them. The people you're venting to are always going to be on your side. They're always there for you. You might forgive and forget whatever issue you and your significant other is going through. But your friends and your family members are not going to forgive. They're not going to forget. They're always going to have whatever it is you told them about your significant other in the back of their mind. Now, that doesn't go for everybody. It's some people that are able to think logically, you know, because everybody's a hero in their own story. And they might be able to decipher that maybe you are not the hero in, in that particular story. Um, this is a queer fat club. Um, I'm, I'm queer and fat. Okay, thank you for joining. We're just um, introducing ourselves at the moment. Okay. Do you want to go ahead and introduce yourself, Joe? Yeah, uh, my name is Joe. I go by he, they, and uh, I identify as 275 pounds. Okay, okay. Um, I feel like Jay's kind of making fun of me, though. I know it's kind of a shock. I know, kind of a new thing. I'm, I'm just going to Do what? I said I apologize. Oh, no, you're good. Um, are you comfortable leaving the group at the moment? Why? Why? I'm, I'm not understanding why you're joining the group. This is the queer and fat group now. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. That's what I came here for. Okay. Um, and you said you identify as fat? Yeah. Okay. 
Um, this is just for fat-bodied people. Yeah, I understand. I, I identify as a fat-bodied person. I'm not understanding where you're coming from. Are you guys comfortable with me here? I mean, I'm pretty chill on my end. I'm not comfortable, no. Can we take, like, a vote? Um, this is a queer fat... Yo. Um. Yo. According to, you know, how things are going, they are actually... They are actually discriminating against him. Okay, think about how many videos that I've reacted to where somebody calls a trans woman sir instead of ma'am because she looked more like a sir than a ma'am. And, and the trans person gets upset because, you know, they feel as though, yo, you're discriminating against me. I identify as a woman. Wow. It's a glitch in the matrix. <laughs> Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Them sound, them sound effects is crazy. Is that tea? I just want to know if that's tea. At first I thought it was ice cream, but then the maneuver she was doing with her, her mouth and all that, it looked like it's hot. I know what y'all was trying to do. I know what y'all was trying to do, but y'all ain't going to get that out of me today. Y'all ain't going to get that out of me today. You know what I'm saying? The sister was hungry. Yeah, <laughs> I know what y'all trying to do. Now listen, this is a brief intermission. I know it's a lot of y'all that watch my videos that's not subscribed to the channel. I could tell because I look at the analytics. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button, player. And make sure you hit that notification bell. You feel me? We at 72,000. I'm trying to hit 100K before the end of the summer. So go ahead and subscribe. What's your name? Is this the same? Bro, ain't no way she was swimming from that shark, taking her sweet ass time. She was doing more screaming than swimming. Well, you know what? <laughs> I can't swim, so I wouldn't have that problem. It's like jars. About the ugliest fish I ever seen in my life. That's an ugly fish, man. I don't really care too much about the ocean because I can't swim. I'm not a fan of cruises. I'm not a fan of riding on planes. It's out of my control. I go on a cruise and a Titanic situation happened. You just don't know what's in the ocean, man. It's a whole nother world in the ocean that we have not discovered yet. And I ain't trying to be the one to discover it. I want the baby because I don't want to kill the baby. I don't want to kill nobody. I don't want to. You're not. They just give you a pill and it's over. No, no, I'm pregnant. No. Bro, people have been asking me to do a take on this, and I've been trying my best not to do a take on this at all, bro. All right, let's finish the video. But that's what I'm saying. The pill, they just give it to you from a doctor, and then you're good. I am pregnant. I can't pretend like nothing happened. I can't. In my religion, we don't kill. 
You're not killing. Okay. I want to keep the baby. Okay. Well, like I said, I just don't want any kids. No. Okay, so what you gonna do? And what you gonna do to me? What you gonna Nothing. do to me? Damn! Why did I do anything to you? Nothing. Why did I do anything to you? No, I know. So, like, how are you gonna deal with this? By by saying I don't want a baby. That's all. I mean, to the doctor, I guess. To the doctor. So you want abortion? I mean, yeah. Why do you want a kid now? And why do you make me pregnant now? Mm. Right. I want the baby because I, I don't want to kill the baby. All right. <clears throat> um. <laughs> First of all, I'm gonna say that the fact that there's a recording of the initial conversation of "Hey, I'm pregnant." The fact that she recorded that already shows like bad intentions. That's one. Two. Now, I do feel as though all this problems right here is above my pay grade. And, you know, I've been trying my best to stay away from making fresh and fit videos. I have made, like, two videos in the past. But I try to stay away from making fresh and fit videos, especially now that my channel is kind of taking off. Like, I don't want that negativity on my channel. But what I would say is that fresh getting shorty pregnant contradicts the things they talk about on their platform. Because they talk about protecting yourself from women like this. They talked about protecting yourself from gold diggers. They talk about protecting yourself from, uh, what's the code name? 304s. I don't even like using 304s, bro. Yet again, exposed for having a, weak, a weakness for these type of women. And it's crazy. Like, it kind of shows that they're lying to their audience. It's so much more things that's coming out because of their beef with Abba and Preach. And Abba and Preach have people that are going to send them and leak them information. So Abba and Preach are going to expose that shit because they don't, they don't fuck with these two dudes. You feel me? And um, we're finding out so much different things now. And it's just making fresh and their platform look crazy how they could have spun that they could have spun that like some good cop bad cop shit myron was goddamn frank castle like he always want to be and fresh could be captain save -a people that dislike fresh and fit y'all don't dislike walter weeks because myron is the voice of that channel bro fresh is really catching strays <laughs> I think it's a messed up situation. At this point, bro, I, I'm going to try my best not to talk about them folks. 